smart safety play is an extremely important part of competitive pool. Knowing when and how to go defensive can win you many games and matches. At the resource page linked in the video description, I have lots of good videos that cover safety play advice and strategy. I also have a good collection of drills to help you practice safety skills. And I have a good collection of safety examples you can learn from and practice. On that page is a link to a document with 20 important safeties you must know and master. In this video, I present these shots in a quiz format so you can practice coming up with the best solution for each game situation. For each shot, I first show the game situation. Some of the examples are from 9-ball and others are from 8-ball. This is a 9-ball example. What would you do here? I first play 10 seconds of Jeopardy music to give you time to think through various options. If you need more time than this, just hit the pause button during the music. Sometimes I discuss various shot options. Here, you could attempt to cut the 7 in the side or bank it cross side, but those shots are missable. Then I show what I think is the best option for most people. Here, a simple stop shot is very easy and it can lead to a lock up game winning safety. Then I show successful execution of the shot. If you disagree with any of my choices, please post comments explaining your ideas. The shots are ordered in increasing level of difficulty, both to recognize the best answer and to execute the shot. This shot and others are from my Top 10 Safeties Every Pool Player Must Master video, but many of the 20 shots, especially the more advanced ones, are new. Keep track of how many of your shot choices match mine, and at the end, post a comment with your stats. Here, the obvious best play is a two-way shot, attempting to bank the 7 three rails while holding for a shot on the 8. If you miss the 7, your opponent is in a tough spot. And if you make it, you can pocket the 8 and 9 for the win. With no reasonable shot on the 7, the best play is to roll forward to the back side of the 9. Here, your opponent is forced to kick off two rails to get a hit. Here's the first 8-ball example. With all 8-ball examples, you are shooting stripes. Here, the only offensive shots are a tough carom or combo, or a risky bank in the side. But here, the safety is natural and easy. Here, a bank on the 8 would be tough, but it is easy to separate the cue ball on 8 to opposite sides of the table for a safety. This is called an equal separation safety, where a hit a hair thinner than a half ball makes the cue ball and object ball head at the same angles and same speeds. Here's another equal separation safety, this time to hide the 8 behind the 9. Here's another equal separation safety, this time to hide the cue ball behind the stripe.
Here, a finesse half ball hit safety is a good play. Here, a nearly full ball hit will hide the cue ball from the eight. Here, thinning the ball with finesse can really lock up your opponent. Here, the standard play is to separate the cue ball and object ball on opposite sides of the table with blockers in between. Here, a natural safety sends the cue ball into the line of the blockers, which is always a good thing, since a wide range of shot speeds will hook your opponent. Here, a thin hit on a nearby object ball is a good play. The object ball won't move much, and it is easy to predict cue ball direction for a good safety with distance and a hide. Here, you could attempt a combo or a tough back cut on the 7. But an easier and safe play is to send the 7 up table and hide behind the 8 and 9. Here, you could attempt a combo or a bank. But hiding behind the 8 and 9 is a good option. Using inside or reverse spin helps hold the cue ball, allowing you to use more speed to send the six as far up table as possible. Here, you could attempt to kick at and pocket the 7, but this is a very low percentage shot that is likely to sell out the game. A smarter play here is a kick and stick safety. Rolling the cue ball into the cushion makes it come off the cushion with stun for the stopping action. Here, if you are a good banker, you might go for the 7 straight back. However, slow controlled draw behind the 8 might be a better option. This requires good touch, but it is a useful skill to have. Here, several safety options are available. But a good plan is to stun off two rails into the line of the nine, where a range of speeds will result in a hide, especially with the two rails helping to kill the cue ball.
Here, a jump shot at the 6 is not a reasonable option, and a swerve shot is too risky with a good chance of selling out. Here, a rail first, thin hit hide behind the 8 and 9 is fairly natural. Here, one option is to try to send the 6 past the 8 to hide, but a much better safety is to ticky off the 6 and lock the cue ball up on the 8. Like many of the safeties in this video, this shot will most likely win you the game. I hope you enjoyed this quiz of 20 important safeties you must know and practice. The key word there is practice. We're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Ain't nobody got time for that. Safeties require good feel and speed control, and the only way to develop this is with practice. Use these 20 shots as a drill to develop the skills required to execute them with confidence when you need them. Remember, the link to the shot diagrams document is in the video description. Also provided are other links to useful safety advice and strategy resources. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave. Thank you.